So in this video, we're going to use a Luxfox Mini B, which has 128 megabyte NAND built in. We're going to flash it and then use it to jailbreak a PS4 on 11.00. Now it does support other versions and we'll go over that a little bit later on in the video. We'll also take a look at the new addition to the official Alien Gaming Etsy shop because I've now released cases for said Mini B. So without further delay, let's dive in. So first of all, a quick look at the cases that are designed and a sell over on the official Alien Gaming Etsy shop. So some of you might have noticed or seen the community post, but we do have the Look Fox Mini B case right here. Now, how I've designed these cases is it has a slit in the top, so you've got access to that I.O. port if you wanted to put a webcam, etc. And there is a hole in the back so you can feed those network cables in. So if you want to grab this case or the Pico Max case, head on over to the Etsy shop today. So you've got your Mini B and you want to follow along with this video. Well, as always, there can be lots of links in the description where you can download all the software and the firmware that you're going to need so let's jump on over to the pc and get this process started so as you can see we're on the main github page and i'll put a link in the description below but this has got all the links that we're going to need so the first thing we need to do is get the soc toolkit now the reason we need this is the Luxfox Mini B doesn't have any firmware on it at all. The NAND is blank. So what you want to do is you want to download this program so we can use this to flash it and then just extract it to your desktop or somewhere where you can find it quite easily. Now going back to the GitHub page, we need the firmware. So go ahead and open this link and it's going to be a Google Drive. So go to build root. And what we're looking for is Luxfox Pico plus flash. It has to be the plus flash here. So go ahead and download that. It will basically zip it up and then you're going to unzip it and copy it to your desktop, just like we did with the SOC toolkit. So back to the GitHub again, and we need to click on this burning SPI NAND flash image. So what we want to do is download these drivers here. So you'll just click here. It will download a zip file. Again, I'm going to extract it to the desktop so it's nice and easy to find. Once you've done that, we can then go ahead and open it up. Now you want to click on driver install and then click more info. Yes, accept, continue anyway. Click install driver and it'll be really quick to install it. There we go. Nice. That's all done. So what we need to do next is we need to flash that firmware. So open the SOC toolkit, more info, run anyway, except it should say RV1103. If it doesn't, use the drop down menu and make sure that is selected. Then what we want to do is hold the boot button down as you connect in the look fox to the PC with that USB-C to USB-A cable. As soon as you've plugged it in, count to two, then release the boot button and you should see that it pops up here. Maskrom 2844. The next thing you want to do is search for the path for the image file that we downloaded before. So I put mine on the desktop and as you can see, look Fox Pico plus flash. So just click on that and then click select folder. You'll get a message pop up. Do you want to reload it? Yes. And then where it says download bin, click the tick box. So everything's selected and then click download. Now this will take a few minutes, but I've just skipped ahead just to save how long the video is. Now just give the look fox a couple of minutes to boot up and then what you want to do is open up my connections which is your network connections because we're looking for this connection here where it says remote NDIS. Now if you don't see this just give it a bit longer it should pop up or disconnect and reconnect. So if you right click on it and click properties, you'll see this option here, internet protocol version four. It won't be ticked for you. Just double click on it and then click the button that says use the following IP address. 
set it to 172.32.0.100 and then for the subnet mask it's 255.255.0.0 hit OK and then hit OK again. You can actually go ahead and close this now. We're not going to need it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back on over to the GitHub and you'll see Mobile X term right here. Now this is a program that's going to set up the Luxfox Pico so it can jailbreak the PS4. So go ahead and download this and again we're going to extract it and save it to our desktop so we can get to it easily. Now this will be just an exe file we need to run. Now if you've seen any of the other videos on the Lockfox installing it to NAND then this will seem familiar. So what you want to do is go over to session then SSH and for the remote host you're going to type in 172.32.0.93 hit OK and then it's going to ask you for a login. Now the login is root R -O -O -T, and the password is luckfox L -U -C -K -F -O -X. It'll ask you if you want it to remember your password I just click no on this. Right the next thing we need to do is copy some files across. So let's go back over to that github page again and you'll see step 8 here says you need to download these files click here so we're going to download it and again we're going to put it on the desktop now don't go copying it across yet because we need to actually rename it so right click on the file and then click rename push the right arrow on the keyboard and then just delete that hyphen main after Luckfox. So it should read PPPWN-LUCKFOX. Once you've renamed it and it looks like this, just drag and drop it on over to the root of the Luckfox Mini B. You'll see it show up here. The next thing we need to do is go back on over and grab these commands here. Now, of course, you can highlight this, right click copy, or on the right hand side there's a little button there you can just click that and it will basically copy it to your clipboard then what you want to do is right click here it's going to say are you sure you want to copy these three lines click OK and then click enter it's going to run those scripts so here we are here's our first option it's asking what firmware we have because it supports 9 960 10 1001 and 11.00 now of course i have 11.00 so i'm going to type in e are you sure you want to use 11.00 of course i do do you want the look fox to shut down after its successful jailbreak yes i do Please tell us what type of jailbreak you want it to do. So I go for A, which is PPWN. I've never tried the IPv6, but I might one day. So it's saying these are all your options. 1100 PPPWN and shut down after jailbreak. We're going to click yes. And that's it all done. The actual look fox itself has just restarted itself and it's going to start trying to find a PS4 and run that jailbreak. Here's a quick message from today's sponsor. PCB Way. The folks over at PCB Way are celebrating their 10th anniversary and from me to them I just want to thank them for everything they've done over the years helping people bring their ideas to life. Now I'm sure you all know who PCB Way are. You design your own circuit boards, you send them the files and they bring your ideas to life at really competitive prices. They don't only do circuit boards, they'll also 3D print your STL files. So let's take a look at it in action. As you know, I designed the Luckfox Pico case. So let's drag and drop that STL file across and you can find this file on Thingiverse. Again, link in the description. We're gonna set it to PLA and we want one. And then of course you can change the colors if you so wish. Then all we need to do is submit the request and then hit agree and then what will happen is a member of the PCB way team will have a look at your STL file make sure there's no issues with it and once they've approved it you can then proceed to the checkout and order your print so I just want to thank PCB way for being today's sponsor
So the mini B is all set up, all the software and firmware has been done and it's ready to jailbreak the PS4. But unfortunately it doesn't have an ethernet port. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut a cable and then solder four wires onto the end of it. Now of course if you are installing this internally you can click up here somewhere, see the internal video and when I connect those four wires to the pins on the ethernet port on the Pro you would just solder them following this diagram to get everything set up and sorted. But of course as we're going for the external approach in this instance let's get that cable cut and some wires attached to the end of the Luxfox Mini B. Now this footage is sped up because all I'm doing is connecting those four wires so the orange, the white with the orange stripe, the green and then of course the white with a green stripe just to these pads on the end and it's easier to get to them from underneath the Look Fox Pico. Now one thing to note here, you're probably thinking why didn't I just use the normal wires to connect them up? With this case, there's not actually that much room to get those wires through. So as you can see, we've got it all wired up. So here's a nice close up. Not the tidiest of jobs, but it will do. So that's it all set up and ready to test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen capture the PS4 and then in the corner there's going to be a little window sort of zoomed in on the look fox because I want to keep an eye on that LED because obviously we set it up to shut down after it's successfully jailbroken it so I want to see if it actually does because if you're going to go for an internal installation you really need to know that everything's working perfectly. So let's jump on over to the PS4 and we're going to watch it in real time just to see how long it takes to actually jailbreak my PS4 Slim. Let's do that now. So as you can see in the bottom right, we can see the LED light flashing away on that Luxfox Mini B in the Alien Gaming case. So what it's doing at the moment, obviously, as it's done before, it's trying to jailbreak the PS4. And every time you see it cannot connect to network, it'll either jailbreak it as it hasn't here or it will fail. So basically what we're doing is we're just going to sit here and wait. Now what I really want to know is once it's finished the jailbreak, will that light stop flashing? because I did set it to shut down after a successful jailbreak. So that is attempt number two, and as you see, it has failed. Now, it usually takes three or four attempts on my PS4, so fingers crossed that the next one is gonna work. So I know I've seen a lot of comments with people saying how long it takes for their PS4 to jailbreak, and it's just one of them, unfortunately. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries and I've seen some people do it straight away. But as you can see, mine has just successfully look foxed as they're calling it here and everything is starting to load up. So not too bad. So it's probably about three minutes on average that I have to wait. Now the look fox is still flashing away. So let's see if it actually shuts down. So it says a LAN cable is not connected anymore and as you can see the light has stopped flashing. So yes, it does actually shut down on its own. So as you can see that worked perfectly and I do need to correct a mistake that I made in another video. When I've done the Luxfox Pico Pro internal install, I said that you had to bend the pins and solder wires to it because there's some kind of logic in the ethernet port. Well, that may be the case, but I could have just removed that ethernet port and with those RX and TX points that you see me use on the Luxfox Mini B, we could have used those on the Luxfox Pico Pro. So I just wanted to actually get that out there. Now the best device to use if you're gonna build it yourself, of course, is the Mini B because it's tiny. So if you install it inside the PS4, it's gonna be easy to stash it somewhere inside. Of course, if you go for the external solution, you can always pick up one of those cool cases over on the official Alien Gaming Etsy shop. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. But if you enjoy my content, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and tinkle so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Gaming and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.